بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها أحبة and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon us and you رحمكم الله something very simple in its apparent meaning seems very simple that we all can do it's a very short hadith or statement of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as he alayhi salatu wa sallam was blessed with jawami' a kalam he was blessed with making very short statements with that had immensely powerful beautiful meanings alayhi salatu wasalam and that's a part of prophetic guidance because in fact that makes the message easier to attain easier easy, easily accessible for us full of meaning easy to remind ourselves and easy to memorize and practice in our lives and from the jawami al kalam of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the hadith an abi amr waqil abi umr sufyan ibn abdullah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu قال قلت يا رسول الله كل في الإسلام قول لا أسأل عنه أحد غيرك قال قل قل آمنت بالله ثم استقم رواه مسلم. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was asked by this Sahabi Al Jalil رضي الله تعالى عنه. He said, O Messenger of Allah. Give me a statement in Islam that I can uh, that I am unable to ask anyone except you. I'm able to, unable to gain this information from anyone except you, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam responded by saying a very short statement, kalim, uh, uh, a jawam al kalim. قال قل آمنت بالله ثم استقم. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, "Say that you believe in Allah and then be straight." And this was collected in Bukhari. In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم. It shows us the importance of believing in Allah, Tawheed again, Iman. And as we mentioned prior to this, those statements which, if we have doubt in our, uh, the shaitan whispers doubt to us, doubtful things, that we should say, Amin tu billahi wa rusuli. That we should say, I believe in Allah and His messengers, alayhim afdal salatu wa salam. In this hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, "Qul amin tu billahi tu mustaqam," that you should say, "I believe in Allah," and then walk straight. Be an istiqama. Istiqama requires that you're on knowledge, you're on ilm. That you know how to practice the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because that's the only way you can know how to be straight and on istiqama. Istiqama is the opposite of being astray, of dal wa mudil. You know, the, a person who's misguided and a person who misguides. Wa'iyadun billah min dhalika. Istiqama is the one who's on straightness. 
That requires knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, having knowledge of Tawheed. Practicing that Tawheed, staying away from sin, istiqamah, going straight. So that's very relevant for us. Of course, first and foremost, during all time, but especially now in this holy month of Ramadan. And so we ask Allah the Almighty to give us istiqamah, to give us sincerity, to give us ikhlas with thabat, to give us sincerity in our worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and firmness on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's a part of istiqamah. That's a part of being straight, is being on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, because he's, he was on the sirat al-mustaqeem. His way is the sirat al-mustaqeem. And it's the hablillah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.